Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I am back with yet another Pinterest recreation in real life video. Alright, so you guys have seemed to love these and it's been a while since I've done one. It's been a really long time because I had a couple of them pre-filmed while I was gone over the holidays, but I'm excited to be back and honestly I think this might be my last more winter focus. I, a couple of these outfits aren't like super wintry, but I'm going to start bringing in more spring things since I have spring on my brain in the middle of January. But you know what? You got to do what you can to like survive the winter and get through it. So I have been really creating my idea of what I want my wardrobe to look like for the spring and kind of different things I want to add in to my current wardrobe for spring or last year's wardrobe for spring. Um, so if there's any specific trends in the spring or any specific piece that you want to kind of see styled next time, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I have four beautiful outfits for you guys that I was inspired from Pinterest to recreate on my own body with my own things in my own closet. So like always, I encourage you to look within your own wardrobe, find pieces and pictures that resonate with you. Um, and don't just go out and buy new things all the time. But if there is something that you find that you're constantly looking at, um, then maybe it's a sign for you to look into putting that on your wish list as something that you would like to purchase in the future. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and dive in. My sweater was giving too much like millennial front talk, so I had to do a full tuck. Anywho, let's um, start with outfit number one. I think I've recreated an outfit from her in the past, but I just love her like very casual, effortless, athleisure sort of outfits. And I think this is adorable. So it's super basic, it's super plain, but the fact that she throws over a black trench, like wool sort of coat, I don't know what color is this, but I'm doing black, um, I think just elevates it to a level that's just like, I would normally throw over a puffer and look like I'm you know, rolling out of bed, but this, she's like, this took effort. Like, she really planned this. And you feel like my face looks 10,000 different colors compared to my neck. Hopefully, that's not showing. Anywho, so I really like this, and I was inspired to kind of play around with more, like, cozy casual underneath with, like, a nicer coat to see if it really elevates the look. So let's see how I recreate look number one. If you see me messing with my hair a million times this video, just know that, like, I am not having a good hair day and I hate it so much. So I wish I had picked outfits where my hair is up, but I didn't. So we're just going to power through. So let's start with Comfy Cozy. Ugh, you know, I should have done Comfy Cozy at the end. I always say I like the Comfy Cozy the same for the rest of the day. We're going to change back into this outfit probably. So let's start with outfit number one. We've got some gray sweatpants and a white tee. And then let's accessorize. Right. So base layer is on. I actually stole this like Fruit of the Loom shirt from Scott. And he was like, last night, he was like, um, do you want these shirts? Because I hate the way they fit on me. And I was like, uh, fun fact, I already stole one. So yeah, I'll take the rest of them. They're just like a very loose, like, tee. They're really not sheer. Like, I mean, you can kind of see my nude bra, but not, like, bad. But I love the oversized fit of these. These are good. All right. And then I ended up getting, I think I mentioned... It was in my last, like, Quince video um, that I had gotten... Let me zoom down a little bit that I had gotten these sweatpants in a size medium, but I exchanged them for a size small because I didn't like how big the ankles were in the medium and now these fit perfectly. They are more of like a jogger fit. So that's that. She actually has like these chunky gray socks on with her Sambas. So let's see what I can do. Um, also let me know, do you guys want to continue to see the image on the screen the entire time that I'm doing these, so just you can re you can remember, because um, I know I forget sometimes too. I always have to look back at a picture. So she kind of has this sock that seamlessly blends with her sweatpants. So I have these little gray loose socks, and then let's pop on my sambas. Yesterday we went skiing at Alpine Valley, <laughs> and first of all, Arlo did so good. <laughs> I was so proud of him. But I um, had these like Under Armour leggings that had like zippers on the ankle of them. They're the worst thing for skiing. I just need to get a different pair of like thermal leggings because the zippers dig into my like calf while I am have my ski boots on. It's terrible. 
And yes, seeing a three-year-old walk in ski boots is by far the cutest thing in the entire world. <laughs> Cause ski boots are so hard to walk in. Anyway, let's throw on our Sambas. And did I buy another pair of Sambas for the spring when I already have, I don't know, three pair? Well, I have two gazelles and one pair of Samba. And I didn't even buy a gazelle or Samba, I bought a, the, the S1. The, <laughs> you know, that S1. Uh, no, I'm excited for them to come in though. I can't be so, I just realized like I should just lean into my sneaker addiction because I wear them, so it's worth it. Now if I had like, was buying heels, then, then we have a problem because I don't wear heels. Ooh. Okay. Now, she has a green hat on. I don't have the exact one, but like I said, this is, we're improvising. Let's throw on this little, and yeah, I love how this just instantly makes your like, outfit interesting because of the different color. Gotta get that hair. You know, it's like my outfit is not interesting without this, and then we're gonna add a different layer of interest with the coats. This long coat. I recently picked this up from the brand Naked or Skay, I know, but it's really a good coat and it's made with like pretty, like it's not 100% wool, but it's a wool blend for a really reasonable price. So I'm here for that. Let's tie up these little strings, you know, just put herself together. She is wearing like a really cute like tote for a bag. Now, if this was like an airport outfit, which this would make a great airport outfit, um, I would probably just bring my little Quince Dagny Dover dupe, which, I mean, this looks adorable. I think we nailed it. What do you guys think? Super cute. I honestly feel like this is like a really like cute, um, I don't know, running out of the house, Aaron's grocery shop, chilling. You're very, very comfortable, but you still look put together because of all the different elements. So I'm kind of here for it. I'm here for this like black coat over sweatpants. I don't know, it's like, is she, could she not find a more casual jacket? Or is she just effortless chic? Effortlessly chic, probably the first. But nonetheless, outfit number one, let's move on to outfit number two. Okay, look number two is slightly outside of my comfort zone, but not. Um, I think it's super cute how she has like these jeans that are like sort of cuffed and a little bit baggy with some ankle booties and just accessorizes with a bunch of black. Um, I think it's really cute and I'm curious to see how it will look on me. It's not something that I would ever kind of pull these pieces and style together, but I think it's really cute and I think it would make a really good like winter outfit when it's not like negative 20, you know, but like 20 degrees, this would be very doable. <laughs> so let's see if I can look as like effortless and chic as she does in outfit number two. Let's give it a go. It's a little bit outside my comfort zone. I really messed up with this outfit choice, like order. Anyway, I have to change out of my super comfy clothes <laughs> into like a cute, like chic sort of look. I mean, I'm still excited for it. I just, let's be real, love sweatpants. So let's see how this outfit comes together. Um, I don't know, we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna throw on a pair of like wider leg jeans with a black turtleneck for the base and then we will accessorize. All right, so we've got our base layer on, some like more relaxed sort of fit. Not relaxed in my stomach though, dang girl. <laughs> dang girl, these leave a little bit tight today, nonetheless. <laughs> uh, black turtleneck, I've been wearing the heck out of this one. But I'm gonna go ahead and cuff my jeans a little and put on some boots and see. She's just, just like one large like cuff. I don't know how it's gonna look on me. Going on with these Vivaya boots. They're like a square toe, like ankle booty. Okay, that's coming together a little bit. Like you don't want the, okay. I don't know if I'm really like behind this whole like cuffed jean thing, but we're, What's funny is like it was my only way of wearing jeans like back when I was like in high school, call it you know, high school. Um, so it's funny like when trends come back around and you're like, I liked that the first time. The second time, I feel like I'm just not about it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's giving, I don't know what. Let's try and add this belt. First kind of like comes to a little pinnacle head at the top. I'm not doing that. It's like her belt like does this thing. 
or like hangs down there. My belt isn't really that long. So we got that going. I don't know about this one. I don't know. We're gonna trust the process. Okay. I'm not hating this. It's coming off as like very like city cool girl. And I don't know if I'm that. <laughs> I'm more of like a suburb kind of cool girl. So I don't know. I'm not mad. I just don't know if I love the pants. Let's just try the cuffs down and see. See, I like that better, but I get where the interest of the cuff is. So this is an outfit I would probably not wear identical to this, but you know what? Now I know. So what do we think? Oh, I need a black bag. Where is my black bag? I don't know where my black bag is. I don't look. I don't know where I misplaced my black bag, but just imagine that I have a black bag on my shoulder. What do we think? It's mid. I'm mid. Outfit number two. Not gonna lie, I think I am gravitating towards outfit number three because she's at the beach. And I want to be at the beach. Um, but this is a very, like, if you live in a warmer climb, climate, climate, you could wear this in the fall, winter. I love the denim on denim, but different colors. Um, the hat, the dad sneakers, I just think it's a really cute look. So this is something I would probably wear into, like, end of winter because it's a little still, like, I don't know, not super cozy, comfy, or not super cozy and warm, but throw a jacket over it and you've got a look as well. So let's see if I manifest a beach vacation with this. <laughs> just kidding. But let's see how I do with outfit number three. I think this is just a staple and I'd be happy to see if this is something that I could, you know, put in my wardrobe outfit rotation. Okay, so we've got our denim on denim for look numero three. Uh, I've been just like beating the heck out of this shirt and I don't see it ending anytime soon. It's my favorite. It's from Target. If they still have it, I recommend it. Um, just got hers like fully tucked. Give that a go. Good thing these jeans are a little more forgiving than the last ones. You know? I was like, okay. Ooh, I like it already. I love black denim with denim. Denim, 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 denim. Um, she has it kind of more buttoned up, but like loose-ish. She has like a cuff and her sleeve, which is so big with denim. I feel like if you just wear things like that, that aren't styled properly, then you, it doesn't work. Okay. Now, something she does that I'm kind of like, is that going to work? I don't know. She wears dark socks with her dark jeans into her dad shoes. So my pants aren't like really cropped at all. I'm going to just cuff them up a little bit, um, but we're going to see how that looks because I don't know as I would do that, but I don't know. Trust the process. I also don't have black socks. Who am I? <clears throat> don't have black ankle socks. Or I only have black ankle socks. I don't have black like tall socks. So these are dark brown, but they work. I also would not be wearing this outfit on the beach. I just... I don't know. I don't like sneakers on the beach. You can't not pay me to wear sneakers on the beach. But one of the best feelings though is after the beach. Okay, this more, needs more tucks. Is after the beach though, after your feet are all like exfoliated, you know, from trampsing on the beach. Putting on a pair of fresh kicks, some socks. That really gets me going. Yeah, I don't think I like anything about this. <laughs> no, I think my tongues are just a little too in your face. I think I need to do one more like string over my tongues. My shoe downs, you know? Okay. Just got a little, little hat, you know me and hats. Okay, I'm coming around to this. This would be cute, like, this would be cute. Okay, just has a black bag and we already obsessed and I don't know where my black bag is. She has a pair of like Ray-Bans, I think. That's what I would wear with this outfit. Ooh. You know? I'm not mad. She's like, I'm not mad. 
at this at all. I think it's cute. Um, I get the dark socks. I got how it's like an extension. And I feel like white socks would be really bright and weird. So I get it. I think this is cute. This is very like, I don't know, fall, spring, throw on like a bright colored sweater like on the shoulders. Everything. Okay, I really like outfit number three. It's very comfortable, very cute. Like the power of sunglasses and a cute hat takes this to might use your imagination that last one because I'm not putting back on. Let's move on to outfit number four. Okay, fourth and final outfit. I am constantly looking for outfits that just have timeless basics in it, like a button up and blazer because it's really what my wardrobe is comprised of. And I think that timeless, effortless, chic sort of dressing is really here to stay even through all of the trends that come our way of like, what is it, electric grandpa or eclectic grandpa, whatever, like all the things that kind of come in and come out, mom boy hair or whatever. I think this is still such a classic look with some new like twists on it with the fact of like the baggierish jeans, the not super fitted blazer, shoulder over the, like just a very care carefree way to wear your basics that you could wear to the office in a completely different way. But I think this timeless use of like core basics that are just staples, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. So I always love creating an outfit like this just to remind myself that the pieces I have in my wardrobe are super versatile and can be worn so many different ways. So let's go ahead and see how I do with outfit number four. All right. Back with one of my favorite ways to wear my clothes with like trendy newer in pieces with like classic button up. So she has this fully tucked. So let's fully tuck a Rooney, these little pants. If you are looking for like a wide leg jean, that's like a real jean material and just very, I don't know, comfy and casual. Check out these Target ones, you guys. I am, I love them. I wear them very often. So you guys know. And there's just something about like how like these make your waist look a little bit whew, a little bit more snatched. Okay. I hate the word snatched. I really I don't know why I said it. I literally hate that word. What do you mean snatched? Like I get it. People use it to describe their face, their waist, their outfit, their but like ever mm -mm. can't. Anywho. <laughs> Base layers on. She has a pair of like white sneakers. I'm gonna put on my axles or my arigatos. I always call them axles, but they're arigatos. Um, ooh, these look cute with these jeans. Just a good basic pair of white sneaks. Um, had these for ooh, two years and I've had my other ones for like five years. Not really, but I've had them for a really long time and they just are such good high quality sneakers. They're an investment, but they're really good quality. Um, now, she's a black blazer. Mine's slightly oversized, but not super oversized. Has like her sleeves like out. I think mine's as oversized as hers is. She's wearing kind of like a gray one. I guess I could have done gray. But her sleeves are slightly out, so let's pop mine out. You know, it's all in the details. Gosh, this hair. I wish I could have her hair, because my hair is not herring today. Um, and then she has a gray sweater over the shoulders, which we know I'm a sucker for. Okay. Some glasses on. She's in fact carrying a little black bag and a coffee, imagine. But I think this is really cute. I don't know what her glasses look like exactly. I'm not like looking at her, but I feel like these 90s sort of look work this is just such a basic good outfit structure meets fun and casual i'm here for it how do we do All right you guys so that's it that wraps up my four pinterest outfits that inspired me to reach within my own wardrobe and pull together an outfit and see what i can do i think it turned out really cute again i'm headed more into spring thought train of mind and I'm kind of trying to get on my videos a little bit earlier because sometimes I feel like my videos are like okay girl it's already spring I've already started shopping for spring you know what I mean I already have my inspiration for what I want for spring so 
I'm hoping to bring it up a little bit earlier, so if there's any specific trends that you've seen floating around or pieces that you have for spring that you want to see styled, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. As always, let me know what your favorite outfit was, and follow me on Pinterest if you're curious to see my outfits that I create over there. And yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon.